Now, if you have a pet dog at home, then you'll know all too well just how quickly they become part of the family. But for dad of two, Steve Brooks here, and his dog Kizzy, be much more than just a member of the family. Great She's view of him Kizzy. An entirely <laughs> new... Great view. You think she was Pippa Middleton? <laughs> so what we'll, do. That view. Uh, we'll, we'll show you this, and we'll turn Kizzy around so you can see her beautiful face when we come back. <laughs> We'd all like a helping hand with the washing. Get the washing. But how about a helping hound? Three-year-old Kizzy not only helps Steve with the laundry, but a host of other basic daily tasks. Back in 2000, Steve was paralysed in a motorbike accident. In a split second, his life was turned upside down. I still remember it now. My wife holding my hand and then the doctor telling me um, I was paralysed from the neck down. It was devastating. Um, going from you know, an active lifestyle and then being told that you're never going to be able to walk, walk again. It was a lot for him to deal with emotionally at the time and um, being in hospital and away from his family as well. I heard about the charity Canine Partners when I was going through my rehab. As soon as Kizzy came to stay with us, every worry went out the window and Steve's personality changed. And he became a much more positive person, I think. I think we clicked straight away. Um, my initial thing with Kizzy when we first met was uh, she's got a bit of a bent tail, she's got a kinky tail. <laughs> and if the phone rings, um, she'll go pick up the phone for me and bring it to me, which is, is awesome. Go on, go on. She's had a massive impact on me since my accident. Yeah. Um, she gives me a lot more independence, um, so I don't have to not constantly go out with a carer with me. Um, Kizzy, can, she's been trained to get the wallet out and uh, she can jump up on the table yeah. and hand it to the cashier. The cashier will then just get the money out, uh, yeah. pay for the item, hand it back to kids. Hello. The kids love having her around and I love um, the interaction that she brings that I can have with the children and my wife and won't be without her. Right up the nose. <laughs> oh, well, Steve and his wife, Nikki, join me now along with Star Kizzy. Uh, she is extraordinary, isn't she? Yeah, she's a brilliant dog. Yeah. Great fun as a pet, but these incredible things that she does for you. What yeah. sort of things do you really sort of mean the most to you? Well, she obviously she gives me a lot more independence now. I don't have to rely fully on my carers, um, so I can get out and about and, you know, um, when I take her for a walk, so, I, you know, I don't have to rely fully on them. I can just, you know, just get out and about. It gives me a lot more independence. Were you sceptical at first when it, you know, it was suggested that a dog like Kizzy might make such a difference to your life? Or did you jump into it knowing that, OK, this is going to be great for me? A, li a little bit sceptical at first, um, uh, but the, when I was at Headley Court, um, uh, the occupational therapist there arranged a meet and greet with the, the, uh, the charity Canine Partners. They came out and they brought one of their demo dogs um, and then within a couple of minutes, I met one of the demo dogs, within a couple of minutes, they showed me from, you know, never even meeting these dogs, that um, this dog, they, uh, tra they trained this dog within a couple of minutes to take off, uh, actually to take off one of my shoes. Um, wow. And that was just within five, five, ten minutes. So um, it's just, Fantastic. that's just one of the tasks these dogs can do. So um, brilliant, isn't it? Uh, sorry, um, Vicky no, as well. I'm, I'm, I'm obviously it's a fantastic beauty, but it must help your life as well, Vicky. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a lot more relaxed when I go into work and everything now. Um, and the ki I know the kids are at school and I'm at work and Steve's not at home on his own because he's there and if he drops his phone, which is his lifeline really, if he's on his own, um, then he can call for help if if you need us or anything, don't you? So, uh, well, let's, yeah, put that's that, good. let's put that to the test, shall we? Um, Steve has got his phone precariously on his precariously knee. Uh, yeah. and, and, and what's Kizzy doing? I can't see her. She's just mind her own she's business. Sound okay, asleep, well, I'm like <laughs> just, just, sort of, just show us you know, what sort of things yeah, that Kizzy can do. So we accidentally knock it off. Yeah. Oh. Kizzy, can you get my phone? Is that? Get it. Oh. Good girl. That's it. Good girl, then. That's it. Mine up. That's it. Oh, oh it. she it. Get is it. amazing. It. Get oh, no, it's all right. She's just fell down there. Yeah. <laughs> good girl. They are she's still got it. Yes, they are tricky it. little things, aren't I they? I think she's just dialing the gallery as yeah. well. While, uh, she's probably while calling she's Australia <laughs> if she's got any sense, isn't she? Catching up on a few phone calls with her canine she, she mates. Little... Down oh, there you go. Down. But you see, look, yeah, well she, she didn't stop until oh. she completed the task. That's it, and she'll do it. And no. She, she gets like voice rewards, but her favourite reward is she loves cheese. So, oh, okay. That's oh, look. cheeky. Oh, that is brilliant. 
I don't know, can you get a close-up of that? I don't know if we've got a, you know, a shot, but um, that is a little cheese dispenser, Yeah, because I've, I've lost function of my hands, yeah. so um, the only way I can record is, is voice reward or yeah. her favourite cheese. She loves squeezy cheese. So. <laughs> Who doesn't, quite frankly? <laughs> we all like and oftentimes, in the debrief, if I've been good, they give me some squeezy cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't happen very often, <laughs> no, to be honest. Yeah, uh, point. And, and so, Nikki, what next? Then? Is there anything else you'd like to train her to do? Um, I don't really know. I think she's, um, because she's kind of already fit in as part of the family, I don't think there's um, anything else that she, she sort of completes the package already, really. Yeah. Well, there is one thing that Steve would like her to do. What's that? Tell us that, Steve. Well, she comes out with me, obviously, out and about in the, in the house um, and out on the streets. and. We're working, she gets my wallet out, and obviously in the street, uh, to the, the cashiers and stuff, but we're working on the older, the chip and pin system. So, uh, so yeah, she has to, be awesome. she's got to work on it. Tricky with those paws, Has to memorise the it? pin. Yeah, very tricky. <laughs> that's, that's a joke at home, if you, uh, <laughs> you're not you aware. Well, I that. wouldn't put anything past Kizzy. She is absolutely amazing and beautiful to boot. Thanks so much indeed for coming in and, uh, and telling that's us the story. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very she's much. giving you a bit of an old-fashioned look there. She, uh, she knows I'm getting ever closer <laughs> to having a dog in my life. I think she's just... Give me those puppies. Oh. Time 